there is only two weeks left. Two more episodes of this series, and then we're done. Unless they get renewed for a third season, you never know. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 20. Jesus. Episode 20. This is the longest series, that we've like review series, we've ever done. Because Agent Carter ended on uh, 18 episodes. And this has gone the longest with 20 episodes. Because obviously it's season 2, episode 10, for those of you who want to be like, Oh no, it's not episode 20, Ryan, it's second season. Yes, I know, but I do it differently. So, I, I didn't have a name for this episode whenever I watched it yesterday, whenever I watched it on Disney+. Plus, uh, They just kind of had it as Season 2, Episode 10. So maybe hopefully now they have updated it, which they probably will because it's in the title. <laughs> but this episode has a very shocking ending, which will play into next week's episode. But... They open with, you know, everyone back in the rehearsal studio, their, their week ban is over from summer break. And they're rehearsing the Beast transformation scene where, you know, it's just after Gaston's battle with the Beast. And Belle's there comforting him, she sings, Ashlyn sings a nice little number here. And then Ricky struggles to get the hell like the, the mask off. He's struggling to get it off and everyone's staring and he's pulling at it. And then he does pull it and he throws it over to Natalie, the stage assistant. But then it hits her in the face and she ends up knocking over all like the props and stuff. This obviously stresses out Miss Jen and she's like, no, no, everything's fine. If you need me, I'll be in my office. And she goes to her office and Ashlyn kind of has a nice wee moment here with Ricky and obviously talking about Nini and the breakup. And he's like, oh, it's just hard, you know, whenever you've broken up with the same person in the space of a year. It's not good. Then we see, we find out from Miss Jen that North High is taking elements from the Broadway show that they're doing like Broadway stuff. They have lighting technician and everything from the Broadway show, so East High is screwed. Carlos then rallies everyone together in the pizzeria. Everyone's rallied together and they split off into two teams with Big Red, Ricky, EJ and Carlos. And on the girls side you've got Ashlyn You've got Gina, Nini, Courtney, and Seb. For some reason, apparently, him and Carlos are going through a lot of stuff since the last episode when Carlos was on holiday. Apparently, he met like a group of people, and Seb kind of felt second to that. So they're gonna try and come up with something. And during this, we learn that. Uh, Gina and EJ were kind of getting close to each other and Ashlyn references the chocolates from a couple of episodes ago where uh, Gina thought Ricky got her chocolates and Nina's like well how come I didn't know about this and the look in Gina's face is like oh shit uh, I didn't think it mattered and then we find out from EJ that he does like Gina and their friends, but he doesn't want to get rejected after what happened with Nini. Miss Jen in this episode um, is obviously stressed about the awards and she calls him Benjamin <laughs> to help her. And there's a line in this that I absolutely loved from Benjamin. He comes into the office and he's like, I was just heading home. What, what do you need me for? And she's like, I'm worried about my children. <laughs> Obviously referring to like Ricky and everything. But Benjamin's like, how many children do you have? <laughs> I burst out laughing at this point because I'm like, fucking hell, Benjamin. She doesn't mean her actual children. She doesn't have any children. And Natalie confirms that she's like, no, she's talking about us. I can't say anything about the other question. <laughs> and then Benjamin gives her counseling. 
gives Miss Jen counseling, just trying to calm her down and everything. Carlos then has a nice moment with Ricky where they're talking about Seb and that he needs to talk to him. And uh, Big Red gets a text, like a phone call from Ashlyn and she's like, oh, apparently Howie gave Courtney the, the script, the Broadway script, so we're going to beat them at their own game. And they all head to the school to kind of plan out what they're going to do and they mentioned the harness that they used on Ricky in episode 9 of the first season where he was hoisted up for the basketball thing and they're going to use that. Carlos then shows up and talks to Seb and is like can I steal you for a moment and he takes him backstage and performs this beautiful number with Ricky and just any scene with Seb and Carlos, it brings a tear to my eye because the chemistry between them is just so, so good. And then we get the final part with Ricky in the harness and they're rehearsing the scene again. And they're like, they're hoisting Ricky into the air and like, oh my God, we're going to win. Guys, we're going to win. We got this. You know, we got this. We're going to win. But then the rope starts breaking and they're all looking up like, oh, God. You can see the rope snapping in half. And then Ricky drops to the floor and everyone is like completely shocked. And you just hear him go, oh. And then that, that's the episode. So Ricky is now injured like you can't tell me that he's not going to be somewhat hurt from that because that was a good distance he dropped oh and also i forgot to mention just you know just because i don't like him uh ej asked out gina to get risor risotto or something i don't fucking know screw you ej i don't care about you going on a date with gina i i i i, 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 I don't care i really don't care <laughs> but that ladies and gentlemen was episode 10 season 2 hopefully there was a name for it i'll put it in the title if there wasn't one i'll just say it was season 2 or whatever but yeah only two weeks left of this series ladies and gentlemen two weeks left next week of course is the day after my birthday my birthday's on friday i don't know what videos are going to be on friday because obviously friday is my birthday and i don't know what I'm doing should be fun. All the notifications I'm going to be receiving, they're fun. <laughs> I'm turning 25, remember. I'm turning 25, but you wouldn't think it. Wouldn't think this guy's 25. Um, next video is obviously on Monday. We're doing the Money in the Bank live stream, the Jobber Dome experience, even though fans are back. The fans were back last night on SmackDown, but I'm keeping the, the Thunder Dome alive because I'm still doing the Jobber Dome experience. But And then on Monday night, because obviously by the time Money in the Bank finishes and the stream processes, it'll be about 2, 3, 4 in the morning whenever it ends. So by the time that processes, it takes 12 hours to process. There'll be 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon. So... Monday night will be uh, my Monsters at Work video and then Wednesday hopefully will be uh, the Space Jam review ski yeah because I haven't got a vlog until the end of the month on the 30th the 30th we're off to see the Suicide Squad and also tomorrow, do I completely forgot about it because we're going because it's not a movie that I'm really into. We're going to see the Crudes, a new age tomorrow. I like, just talking about vlogs. God damn it, Ryan! Remember what you're doing. There's so much stuff I can't remember. So tomorrow you get the Crudes, then Money in the Bank, then Monsters at Work, then Space Jam and New Legacy, Jobber Reviewski. And then 
Friday. Friday, I don't know. You could get a vlog because Cinema Times haven't updated for next week yet, so I might go to the cinema, I don't know. Um, and then Saturday is the next episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series, um, which will be episode 21. So much stuff.